Um, so I did a search. <laughs> Why are there so many of the red ones and three blue ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve against three against one. Against one. Oh, are there like rolls? Do you have to do? <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> Four years after, historically, large number of candidates ran for president. The field for the 2024 campaign is getting crowded once more, even as it, as it is headlined by the same two aging men who faced off in 2020, President Biden and former President Donald J. Trump. A dozen Republicans have already entered the race, and additional candidates may still join them, creating a fracture field that could prevent voters who oppose Mr. Trump from coalescing around a single alternative, just as it did in 2016. On the Democratic side, Mr. Biden has drawn only a couple of long-shot challengers. Campaigns 2016 to 2024, when candidates entered and exited their races, and the past two presidential election cycles, most announced their bids by summer this year, or the year before election day, and dropped out by Super Tuesday. I don't even know what Super Tuesday is. Uh, 2024 candidates, campaign announced, past candidates, last day of campaign, today, 486 days before election, length of campaign, one year, oh gosh, this is like a long battle, uh, six months, and look, it's the reds, the whites, and the blues, and the grays, or the blacks, I don't know, it's like grayish, it's not black, it's like grayish, Super Tuesday, Trump, Biden, DeBelicio, Harris, Warren, Bloomberg, Clinton, Biden, Trump, Trump. Oh, because, okay, he had two races. <clears throat> Source. Oh, 600 days before election. 400 October, 200 April election day November. Source, New York Times reporting and Ballotpedia. Note, John Delaney and Andrew Yang, both Democrats, are omitted from the chart. Each announced his candidacy more than a thousand days before election day in 2020. So, because, I don't, I don't know, my brain doesn't work on that. Each can each announced his candidacy more than 30,000 days before election days. Okay, um, if I had to like announce it, I'm running for president, ho ho ho. I'm announcing it to myself and into a video that may or may not like make it out there. I don't know. You guys are currently like pre-done yeah. until, uh, I don't know, 20, uh, the 16th, July 16th, and then there's all this other crap, whatevs, I'm just a cuckoo bird, who is predicted to be the president in 2024? According to 2024 election odds, listed at Ladbrokes, President Joe Biden, 36.4%, and former President Donald Trump, 28.6%, remain most likely to be the next U.S. President. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, 12.5%, continues to slide and now is threatened by California Governor Gavin Newsom, 8.3%, who climbed yet again. So, even though they're black people, even though they're women, it's still all for the guys. And the two old guys that we don't like are still the people. Okay, well, um, yeah, so about that, that's, uh, that sounds kind of messed up. Who is favorite to win? And, that, and it sounds like it's going to be the Biden guy, like, and that's just, <clears throat> and the other one is like, <clears throat> come on. Here is a look at the odds to win U.S. President in 2024. Election odds 2024 of Joe Biden at 150 plus. Man, you know, as long as I could like sit and stand and caffeinate and nicotine whenever I do my stuff, um, I'd be fine. Like, your girl requires <laughs> immense amount of stimulus in some form. So um, let's just like think on this. Is this like a little five minute video? Um, yeah, I'm running for president. <sighs> Michelle fix it. Or like, I'll give you guys my real last name if I have to, but yeah, Michelle fix it. Who votes on who's run for president? Who are the next three people in line to be president? Why don't we just have like pink? Instead of it being red and blue, let's just have like pink and light blue and some yellow. I'll take the pan flag. Bye.